Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God, and we're showing how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today is Friday, July 17th, 2015. 717. And I just wanted to show some things that maybe most Christians and most people around the world don't know. Some people on my channel that have been with me for the last few years know these things, but most people around the world don't. Even most Christians who read the Bible every day don't realize we are waiting on what's known as the fifth age and the fifth angel to come. See the five right here? When the fifth angel comes, he represents the great millstone cast into the sea. That represents Jesus Christ coming and casting down the fifth angel, the fallen one. And it's the king of the Illuminati rises up with the five. See right here, this clown character, the fifth angel, see the five for the Illuminati? He comes to trick the world into idol worship. And there's the eagle granted to the woman of the Bible as she's caught away during any type of rapture event. Well, we show how all the world is mapped out to show these things. And that daily events happening seem to map out the same things over and over again as we near the end of the age. This is Washington, D.C. right here, the White House, and it's showing about the fifth age coming. Now, in the last few days, we've had, like, Operation Jade Helm start on the 15th, and then on the 16th, we had this, this incident where a man named Mohammed shot and killed four Marines, representing the end of the fourth age. And then that person was actually killed through there. And it represents catching the deceiver as he comes down. It represents this event happening yesterday. See how this happens on, started on the 15th? So this would be the 16th. Because right here is the 17th, where we're at now. So yesterday we saw this same event happen. See this grievous head wound happening to this person right here? as the four marines were killed and then this muhammad guy got his grievous head wound but in the bible it says he will rise back up this represents the cern hadron collider ready to be turned on a gateway and the harp machine will be used to cause this great earthquake see an 11.5 earthquake as this woman is caught away and then this is the beast out of the sea that rises and you can see hillary clinton is representing that woman on the beast. See this right here? The woman on the beast. Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Hillary Clinton is actually portraying this role. See her right there? With Angela Merkel, it's not just one person. All the way to Obama, which represents the leopard that she is riding. She's All of this is the beast that she is riding. See that? And this is the the good woman that's caught away during that time as she and all of this group goes off to destroy the world so today is the 17th you see the 17th right here and we show that it shows the woman right here ready to set everything up see the woman see the nuclear football see the nuclear football and the dollar will drop as the earthquakes and the nukes come and see the British invasion right here for the 50 like when Britain rises up see them getting a grievous head wound on Britain and then they will rise back up with Prince William and this beast rising well there's the 17th does anybody know what 717 means this is the part that I like to do even with my own self when I'm researching things, there's a point nor normally where I'm looking and I'm discovering, and then I will find out something, I, I, and it will be verified. And then you can actually feel your mind actually creak over as you realize, oh, I didn't realize that, and that was pretty simple. Does anybody know what 717 means? Does anybody that's a Christian that is listening to me right now know what this means right away? Now realize this as a detective. If you don't know this, and even you've been following my channel for years, and you don't remember this, realize 
Everybody else most likely doesn't know this either. So we have to help in the simplest ways. What does 717 mean? Do you know this? You should. You ready? 717 means the name of God. Y-H-V-H. Yehovah. Jehovah. 717. Do you see that? This was told to me in a dream about six, seven years ago. Literally. 717. Something kept telling me in my dream, you don't know 717's name. They actually go by numbers. The angelic things go by numbers a lot. Really, a, a big time. If you studied the Book of Enoch's and stuff, you would see that. They are even given a number. 717 is the name of God. It also represents the the hand and the nail and Jesus being on the cross see going through the holes in his hands going through the cross one was a repentant sender and one was not repentant and Jesus Christ brought them all together he's that's what he means the time of the crossing as his blood the blood of the lamb is spilled right there for us all 717 it also means the pie symbol the door to infinity the nail is the way to go through Jesus Christ. And we, we can go right through his door. That's what it represents to infinity. Y-H-V-H. Jehovah. Well, can we verify this? Do you know what 717 in the Bible is? What about Revelation 7? 17. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes isn't that beautiful now see how we just did that isn't that great now do that other part as a detective set yourself apart and realize nobody else in the world hardly knows this you can actually go in and, and practically do a survey on preachers and get 100 preachers and 99 of them will have no idea what 717 means so realize that how much we have to always learn each day we are never going to know everything but every single day we can know a little bit more so let's keep going detectives we're working with the Holy Ghost so there's the 17th today does this mean something will happen today no we don't know it's up to God is something happening today? Yes, you just learned what 717 means. You just learned the fifth age is coming. You just learned everything set up to show what's coming. You can see right here. See this guy right here coming? This is the little horn of the Bible coming. As the woman and Jesus go up to the throne of Abraham's throne and judge the world as this guy comes down. See him getting his grievous head wound? as he attacked the four marines trying to take out the fourth age and he's trying to get through the door he's trying to come down and leave but he gets a grievous head wound for the fifth age can you see our rocket ship out of here as I've shown before see the rocket ship for the souls the castral oil for the souls with their oil the turtle means the covering cherub our shield the hand of God is our covering cherub to get us out of here Jesus Christ sits at the right hand of God. Can you see it right here? This also means New York going down too. See New York when New York is hit. The Big Apple. See how this is? It said Virginia down here also. There it is. Virginia Avenue representing the wise virgins. See how we're out of here and it's loaded on the 17th. See that right there? He comes down, he gets to grieve his head wound, we leave. The woman and Jesus go up to the throne and judge the world. We are taken away and we have to pass over the bull, the Taurus constellation system. Right over here is the large graveyard and it actually shows like the eagle. See the eagle right here? As our soldiers have been dying in these wars, they end up being passed over, see, by the eagle, and going up into the heavenly areas. 
I'm not kidding. Because right here is the big bull. See this big bull? This represents the Taurus constellation in the sky. See the leg of the bull? See there? And we have to pass over. See how the eagle passes us over the bull coming? I'm not kidding. This is all done by the solar systems. How is this done? God. Just as right here. We have to go through the dog star Sirius, pass through Orion, get past the V, the horns of the bull and the V for the fifth age coming, which represents the law and the wages of sin or death. We pass over and go into the boot, known as the Pallades, the seven stars in Jesus' right hand, the seven angels, the seven churches, the place prepared for us, right there. But it's for our soul. Flesh will not enter into heaven. So you can see all of that right there. See the woman, the football there, the head wound that happened yesterday, him coming. See the jet right here lo loaded up on the 17th. And we go up and we pass over the bull. See the big bull that's coming? All of the earth is made like a matrix perfectly to show what's coming. See all of our fallen soldiers that were Christians have gotten their wings and been passed over this red bull coming. See there, we have to pass over that. This thing means judgment. God have mercy on us all. Just like when they worshipped the golden calf. See the golden calf? All that worship the bull and the golden calf will lose their soul and their life from idol worship. The ones with Jesus will get their wings and we pass over. We have the ability to fly over the red bull coming. Well, I just wanted to show that. Thank you very much. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. 717 will lead us unto the fountains of living waters. Revelation 7, 17. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Isn't that fantastic? So have a great day today on 717. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah.